Hey everyone! It's been about a week since I did that really big toy haul video, the one that's like thousand dollar toy haul. And I don't get to do that that often, but I got another opportunity uh, yesterday. So I have all these bags and let's take a quick look at all the stores that I went to. Alright, first I stopped at a Toys R Us and I found almost a whole box of the Series 3 Walking Dead. There was two missing out of the box. Then I checked out the dinosaurs. Not too many of the Schleich ones that I had, that I needed, but um, they had all these cool six-pack sets. I have one of them, but uh, I kind of want to get the other ones. I might get them next time. Uh, they had a cool truck with a cage, and that's my stuff that I'm getting right there. And I found this really cool parasaur with the bone set and the jeep or some kind of vehicle. So I'm getting that and the Pokemon things under it and the... Oh, and some Minecraft too, I think. And so here's me checking out. And then I went to a, a different Toys R Us and they had a whole bunch of Shopkins. But what I really wanted was these baskets. I couldn't believe they had a whole, look at that, a whole box. So I just snatched up that whole box. Um, okay, so then I got an Amiibo and some more Pokemon. This is, uh, they have the Eveltal and the, and I was looking for the, the Xerneas behind it. So, and they had both. So I got both and I think I dropped drop something there, but so um, that's the stuff I'm getting in my, in my pile, which keeps falling over. Today was a day where I, I was not getting shopping carts. I was trying to shop without a shopping cart. And then I went to a Target and I found this Pokemon cube thing like I got last time, but it's different figures. And people keep asking me how much they are. Well, so I, I'm checking the price and it is $11.99. And I, I, did, I was telling people it was about $12, so I, I got that right. And then I went into the toy aisle of the Target and they had some blind bags. And they also had this scooter, which I did not buy, but I really liked it. I really like scooters, and uh, it was just a little bit too kiddy for me, and it's $30, so I don't know, I, I have to think about it. I might get it in the future. Okay, this is the Amiibo section. They didn't really have anything that I wanted. I still don't have Diddy Kong, or Donkey Kong, or Mario, or Luigi, but they're really easy to find, so I'm probably going to wait till, if I can find those really cheap. So, just checking out the Amiibos, nothing, nothing, nothing. Alright, here, this is a Toys R Us again, I think. They got this really cool Iron Man and uh, some other action figures. I didn't get any of those other action figures, but I found two more Series 3 Walking Deads. So, I got those to finish my box. Now I have a complete box of Series 3 Walking Dead. And I found a Pokemon plush that I needed, so I, and it was in a box, so I decided I'll just take that box and use it as a shopping cart and I'm dropping stuff everywhere like I usually do. But yeah, I'm still on a thing of I'm not going to get a shopping cart today because I'm not going to spend that much money. And then I found these Zelf things. I keep hearing, I keep seeing videos about Zelfs and uh, I found two in inside those other pink things. So I grabbed those and into my cardboard shopping cart. And then I didn't buy anything in this section. This is the science educational section, but they had that T-Rex that I made in my other video with the, um, it was really cool. And then I found, I could not believe I found these things. I didn't know these existed. What well, World of Warcraft blind bags. I've seen the set, but I have not seen blind bags. So I got those. There was only two of them. And uh, then I went to check out this to Toys R Us's dinosaur section. They didn't have anything really good up here, except these weird looking dinosaurs. That, uh, the Triceratops is kind of weird looking. That Stegosaurus's face is kind of weird and long, and the T-Rex looks really bad. I don't know. I, I didn't buy those. Usually I'd try to buy everything that I don't have within reason, but I didn't. I didn't, just didn't like these weird looking dinosaurs. They're like cheap looking. And here's, this is for that shark guy. You know who you are, that crazy insane shark fan. You are the best, number one shark fan, yes. And uh, so, and then I saw the ank Ankylosaurus the, down at the bottom. I was like, yes, I need that. And I, I grabbed that. So into the box, and then off to the foam section of the dinosaur aisle. Uh, these are big, I don't know, polyurethane foam or something. And uh, uh, that orange one I got last time, there's these little tiny sets. I don't know what they are. They're kind of cool, but I didn't really take a close look at them. There's some more foam ones. Uh, I do have the Velociraptor and the T-Rex foam dinosaurs. There's a couple of Schleich stuck in there. And uh, they have some a bunch of dragons too, and I like that weird 
green dragon down there, but you didn't have any wings and I, don't know, I didn't get it. And then I'm checking out right here. I found some Mario coin candy, which tastes really good. If you ever see it, it's, it's tasty. So then I went to, this is a Barnes and Noble. They have a really good toy section. Okay, this is all Minecraft stuff. I've never seen that red set right there. And they had some other stuff I've never seen and they just had like a little bit of everything. If you are a Minecraft fan, you should try to check out a Barnes and Noble because they have a lot. And this is just one section of the toys. They have lots more toys. I'll just show, show you them in a second. But that's a lot of Minecraft. They have a lot of other video game toys too, like, you know, Mario, Zelda. That's the stuff I'm getting at the moment. I'm using another box because I don't think they have shopping carts in the bookstore. But they have like educational toys and uh, over here they have like voodoo dolls. I don't know what they are, but they're like uh, Marvel voodoo dolls or something. I almost got a Wolverine one. And oh, there's DC too. And I really wanted that Ninja Turtle. Like I, w I saw that last time I went, but it was $30. And then today it was $40. I don't know why the price went up. There's some vinyls and pop vinyls and... I really wanted that Professor X, but I wasn't collecting pop vinyls at the time, so I'm like, I'm not going to buy the Professor X. But then I came over here, and they had some awesome Pokemon, really big Piplup. I wish they had more Pokemon the same size as that Piplup. And uh, Pokemon cars, and unusual kind of toys, and, and um, more plushes, but I already have all those. More pop vinyls. Up here they had a... Uh, Transformers blind boxes. I don't know why I didn't buy those. Sorry if you hear my bird. He's coo coo cooing. And then I saw the my one of my favorite things. I was like, oh, oh, DeLorean. And I was like, oh, I need it. How much is it? And I'm checking for the price, and I'm like, oh, it's thirty dollars. Uh, maybe not. Just put that right back. And I got some. Let's see. So those were what was it? Uh, How to Train Your Dragon and oh, Scribble Knots. But Usually game stops have those scribble knots and checking out the My Little Ponies. I got some ugly ones down there and that one's cool. I like the uh, Apple Boy Pony right there. And so that's my Barnes and Noble bag. And the uh, I'm still not done shopping. This is a GameStop. Still not buying pop vinyls at the moment. I do have the little pocket pops frozen, but I don't have any big ones yet. And I saw Commander Riker and I was like, oh, I do they have um, the data and the, the captain and I was looking and I was looking and I was like oh they do I think now I'm a pop vinyl collector so those were my first ones that I actually bought and that Groot is super awesome it was like the Ninja Turtles but it was eighty dollars it's like this big glittery clear Groot and they had some little horses there I got some of those and some Minecraft old series so the first one really cool action figures and have you ever seen the pop vinyls in a Hot Topic store? This is a Hot Topic. Check out the pop vinyls. I cannot believe this. I don't know if you've ever seen this, but it is amazing. Can you imagine having all those pop vinyls? Uh, I'm not going to show you every one because that would take like an hour, but uh, just a small sampling. I'm just going to scroll down the massive wall of pop vinyls and you can see a couple of them. I'm sure they have, if you, if there's something you want, they probably have it. Lilo and Stitch and Scrump and, uh, like, Star Wars and just everything you can just imagine. Stuff that I would not even think they would make. Uh, there's Dragon Ball Z and I, I saw Sebastian there and I was like, oh, they have Grell and I need the Grell. So I just, I grabbed that. I had to have that. And at that same store, I also got a Freddy Krueger because uh, I had seen a Freddy Krueger last time and I wanted it. Uh, they had these really cool stuffed animals down under the cash register at the Hot Topic. I wanted this Mega Man, but I think it was like $18. That's a lot for a little stuffed animal. And uh, a cool Titan. He was pretty cool. So that's the stuff I'm getting right there. Just some pop vinyls and uh, the ponies. And then uh, this is a Walmart. I am getting some dinosaurs. I got one dinosaur there last time and I found two more this time. Two different ones. And then I heard, I kept hearing this noise, it was like rawr, for like half an hour in there. I was like, what is that noise? And finally I went over and looked and it's this mighty dragon toy. He's just roaring for like all day long. I don't know why he's doing that. It's like no one's touching it, it's just stuck. So I kind of listened to that for a little while and then I kind of backed up and then I kind of just move around and kept looking at it and wonder if it's ever going to stop and it, it never stopped. It, it roared the whole time I was in the store. You could hear it for most of the store. 
So this is just what I was getting at the Walmart. Just some dinosaurs and the train blind bags. And this is all my bags at the end of the day. Um, pretty good haul. Not a $1,000 haul like the last time, but you can see this is all the stuff I've been getting in the earlier parts of the video. The Pokemon and Amiibos and uh, Pop Finals and Selfs and just everything. Alright, so let's just see what's in some of these bags. I'll just, you know, take a quick look. I'm not going to go into detail. Let's move this one over. Okay, I'm just going to start dumping stuff out. It will get messy. Okay, so, okay, that was a Target bag. I got some Hello Kitty and My Little Pony and another Pokemon Cube. This has different figures in it. Okay, Barnes & Noble. I don't know if you have one that has really awesome toys, but this one does. Okay, I got some Zelda blind bags and my uh, How to Train Your Dragon 2 and this really cool uh, Adventure Time tin with a toy in it. I don't know what that is, but it looks cool. Alright, then... Okay, so these are my first pop vinyls ever. I saw this and I kind of screamed a little bit. I, I had to get this. And then right next to him was Captain Picard. And then later in the same store I found this one. So I got all those. Oops, there's something else in that bag. Oh, I also bought my first used... Whatever this is. Disney Infinity. I don't have that game, but I just wanted the figure. I should be going faster. Okay, so that was Thomas uh, mini blind bags, and I got this dinosaur. Well, it's not actually di technically dinosaur, but you know. It's a extinct animal. And we got that dinosaur there. And let's see, that's just more Thomas in there. Okay, we got Hot Topic has got some awesome stuff. Okay, so after I bought the Hot Topic, I mean, after I bought these at GameStop, I was like, okay, I guess I'm a pop collector now, so I'm going to go and buy the other pops I wanted. I wanted this one, and I just saw this one for the first time ever, and I bought that. Uh, and they had all these unicornos. Everything in the store was like, buy one, get one, I don't know, half off or 40% off or something. So I bought all kinds of stuff there. And let's see. Okay, so here's the Toys R Us. I got all the rest of the bags of Toys R Us. I have four of these different kinds. I have Pikachu, Mewtwo, this one, and this one. So I got four. I got... Okay, that's all that's in this bag is Minecraft Series 2. And over here we have... Uh-oh, I better not spill this. This is a Shopkins. This is a complete thing of Shopkins. And over here we have the... Um, okay, is an empty Pokemon box. I got another Amiibo. I got some Walking Dead Series 3. I got this. Lit Leo. I got this. I got this, I got this, I got some candy, I got two of these Zelf things, and I think this is the last bag, I got this, super cool, and last thing is some more of these. So I have a one complete box if I take the ones from the other place, wherever they went, and I put them in here, then I will have a complete box. Alright, so that's my toy haul for... That's my second toy haul for... Uh, what is this? May? I don't know. March? This is March. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you have good luck finding the toys you want to find in your stores, and thanks for watching. Bye!